I'll show you my new uh, camcorder. It's uh, by Panasonic. It's a 720p uh, kind of low uh, HD resolution. The model is called HCV10. Uh, and what attracted me to this model, uh, besides the uh, nice looking design, is the uh, high uh, optical, optical zoom. Uh, 70 is the total digital and the optical, but optical zoom is uh, 63. I think a 64. Uh, it has um, optical uh, image stabilization, which is very important uh, for camcorders uh, with such, uh, you know, big zoom. And also, it has um, SD SD card in here. Let me just shut it off. Yeah, SD card. See, so you can put, you know. I think it's it supports up to uh, 32 or 64, but I'm just using 8 gigabytes because uh, you know what are you gonna do with that huge movie if you do if you if you uh, you know plan on shooting uh, such high sizes. Um, so transferring movies is easy. That's why I like Flash. Is you just pop this out and plug it into your laptop, right? Or you can use a uh, AV cable or USB cable. Um, what I also like is that the screen is not is not touch screen because I had some uh, bad experience with the Sony model. I like this one uh, much better. Everything is done through the uh, you know kind of uh, like on, on, a, on a regular cell phone. Uh, you can open and close the lens here. Uh, this is the mic and this is the speaker and um, so you can also take pictures right so this is actually the first model that I saw with such big uh, zoom you know usually uh, high definition uh, camcorders are pretty limited in that regard the maximum I saw was like maybe 12 or 14 times so 70 is pretty cool um, and also it has um, you can hook up a tripod like this this is my favorite tripod it's of course has limited use but it's so uh, handy you know it's so small you can just you know connect it here and uh, you know make your camera much more stable now speaking about cables finally the manufacturers are turning around and they're making their things uh, you know user friendly so this is the cable and this head here it's not from this it's from my cell phone but because I didn't take that one from my truck, but uh, that the, the thing for the camera looks pretty much like this. And so this is USB end, right? And this you just plug it in here, in uh, in that in the left side. And then what I like about this is if you've seen my previous movies, you can use something like this, right? That you can pick up for ten bucks at any truck stop, and just connect it like this, and you have a portable car charger for your camcorder which is pretty cool now I'm shooting with my uh, flip and actually the reason I'm getting I, I was interested in a camera like this was uh, so that I can you know shoot objects that are farther away of course uh, uh, flip is limited in this regard now one thing here is that um, I did a couple of test shots and right away I, I noticed that the sound level oh, okay it does I forgot to open the lens. They say you should open this before you open uh, uh, the display, otherwise some top secret, you know, machinery inside will not work correctly. Anyway, what these two buttons here are very important. This one is, um, this one ever makes everything automatic, right? And this one is the uh, image stabilization. See that like little sign for a hand? If I push this, see it disappears right and then it appears so this makes picture much more stable so I always keep it on and that's the mic level which if you see this that means that my automatic button is off and why I did that is because I discovered that the only way to adjust the um, the mic level is if you run again running this thing in the manual mode so you can choose uh, scenes here, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, 
you can blur the background you can shoot uh, snow covered places and uh, you know stuff like that on the beach with the fireworks you know night scenes looks like this camera has a pretty good uh, uh, low light uh, thing going here um, but what else so the zoom can be increased up to 3500 but of course the higher you go uh, the worse the picture becomes right okay and what else we have yeah recording mode it supports the Mac resolution but you see the native is 1280 by 720 at 60 60p right and um, uh, you can activate guidelines which help you you know determine if your camera uh, is held correctly you can use fade in fade out which can kind of make it semi-professional you know when the picture appears from the black or disappears into the black this AGS thing that's just stupid thing I tried it it doesn't work properly it's supposed to stop recording when you record when you tilt the camera like this so that you don't shake it when you push the you know this button here right to record and stop recording so it doesn't work properly now all those slow shutter means that you can uh, choose this option so that the camera can slow down the shutter speed uh, to shoot darker objects I don't think I don't know why I have it on because of course if it's slow then it might shake right because you need when you uh, hold the camcorder in your hands you need uh, fast shutter speeds okay backlight compensation you see it has all these nice options here you can read it says here prevents dark subjects and backlight right I have intelligent contrast on so it, it shoots better uh, where you have you know sharp contrast between bright and dark areas you can also uh, make the skin look nicer like more natural soft skin mode on off and you can cut the wind this is great see this one big problem I'm having with the flip as soon as I uh, start recording a video when there's a uh, you know side wind it just it um, the mic basically stops working it catches all the wind because it's very sensitive see this one <laughs> this camera has actually a different problem because sometimes the uh, level is too low but anyway you can still adjust the wind uh, um, level for the windy conditions but this is the one I was looking uh, for initially and couldn't find it because as I as I mentioned this option becomes visible only when you switch off the automatic control so this one is really good so forget auto uh, AGC that's the one I, uh, I decided to use because that reduces uh, sound distortion and you, you can actually choose here the uh, uh, the mic level right now I have it at, at maximum see it's it, and it's not touch screen it's all you use these little buttons here which personally I love and I think they they they're much more reliable than those you know controls on the on the display because it can get dirty maybe when the display is like half a square mile big then it's like on a laptop then it's fine but on a tiny screen like this you know I don't think you really need uh, touch screen and you see this shows you uh, like your levels right so once you enter that see now I can th they say that uh, when you try when you test it you should not see the top uh, buttons on the right red but I find that that's total you know BS because it uh, you must use this camera at, at the highest uh, level because that's their problem because see when you record like this you hold it like this the mic is on this side so it's perfect when you shoot yourself you know I don't know what's wrong with these designers for some reason my flip records everything perfectly even when I'm inside a truck with a uh, huge you know diesel engine all that noise but this one I don't know but so far I'm quite happy so it's very light so the only two problems, like I said, are the uh, the uh, the sound. You have to set it at maximum, and you have to set off the uh, uh, control, and it still will be uh, not as loud as when I recorded with a flip. And the second problem this camera has is actually the battery. Like this is the standard battery that comes with it, and when I look at the manual, it says it's only good for like one hour of continuous shooting. You know what what's wrong with that so 
I found uh, uh, high capacity battery for this model uh, because they listed in that manual so that one is good for uh, uh, four hours so I just got it on eBay and it's somewhere on its way to me and it's re uh, it sells for only like 27 bucks you know so all in all not a bad camera I especially like this kind of chrome design here you know looks really cool and it's very small and I got this bag for it you know so it's all in all it's very light you know so it's a good addition to my uh, family of YouTube tools. So once again, I've been uh, reviewing a Panasonic HD HC V10 digital camcorder with a 70 times uh, zoom. Thanks for watching. This was Sergey Drachev from Ontario.